Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is ad actor local rotation. Let's run through a quick little example. Might not help too much, but we'll show you what the result is and then how we get it. I have an item here. The cone represents the Z up or the up direction. If I want to type in 45, it's going to add 45 degrees of rotation to this item. If we were to select the box, for example, we can see right here we have 45 degrees with, you know, our float rounding issue as the rotation. And we can actually eject and click and you'll notice it is rotated 45 degrees around the Y or, let's, here we go, or Y axis, which is the green one, and it's rotated 45 degrees around it. So we went from vertical, we rotated 45, and now we're that direction. Let's go ahead and look at the node and how it works. Let me go ahead and add actor local, and it's not going to show up. As the name implies, it is adding local rotation to an actor, so it's going to require an actor as the target. Simple enough. It takes in an actor, it takes in a delta rotation, so this is a rotator, or you can split it since it's a struct and get back the x, y, and z float values. Now by default hidden, we're going to go ahead and find, let me move this down, there we go, uh, two more options, sweeping and teleporting, and we'll cover those when the video is near the end. So let's look at how this is working. Right now what I'm doing is feeding in an x, y, and a z, which are the values we saw on the screen, into the rotation for ad actor local rotation. Now there's a couple things to note here. We're adding rotation, not setting it. Therefore, we're going to take the current values, these values, and add them together. So if you want to move in one direction, you can add a positive, or the other, you can add a negative. We're not setting, we're adding. That's something to keep in mind. And we're also doing this in the local coordinate space. Let me show you that. So before, when I typed in 45, we ended up ejecting, and we can see we have 45 degrees here for a rotation. If you notice on our item itself, our Z is now facing this cone, the X is facing the back end, and the Y is facing the side. But it is not the X, Y, and Z in world space. I'll click on here to switch to world, and you'll notice Z is up like we expect, the X would be in one direction or a forward, and the Y would be left or another direction. That's world space. This is local or actor space. Basically, if something's rotated, it itself has its own coordinates. So when we rotate something using the add actor local rotation, we're rotating it alongside the current local rotation. And that's important to note. If I was to, for example, put this back, let's go negative 45, because remember we're adding, we're now back to zero. Let's rotate it around the Z. Now all this should do is spin it. 45, whoa, okay. Notice here I made a mistake. I did an add and I left this as a zero. So now I have a Y of negative 45 and a Z of, neg of positive 45, because I added. Let's restart this. Let's go ahead and add 45 to our Z. And you'll notice it rotated around the Z. If we were to eject and click here, let's repossess, whoops, eject, click here, you'll notice it's rotated around the Z. We could add another 45, gives us 90 degrees of total rotation, which we can see here. Let me reset this. Let me go ahead and rotate this 45 on the Y. So now our Y is facing in that direction. And then let's go ahead and do the 45 on the Z again. And you'll notice it changes again in the local coordinate space. We're not changing, rotating around the up and down. We're rotating in the local version, which is going to be in this direction, around the blue. We could just do this in increments of 10. If I just keep hitting enter, you'll see it rotating around the local Z. So keep that in mind. This is a local addition for rotation. It uses the local coordinate system. Our other two checkboxes are pretty simple. I don't really need to show you much here because it's kind of hard with a rotation to show the example, but I'll explain it in detail. Sweeping is basically if you have collision or you're using triggering, do you want those things to actually happen when you add the locate the rotation? So if I was to rotate this 45 degrees and it happened to be a very weird shape, 
and it happened to hit something like maybe it was in a window or a partially weird area. Basically, during the rotation, should we be stopped? Should we stop rotating if we hit something else? That is what our sweep is for. If it's unchecked, it's going to rotate no matter what. If it's checked, it's going to stop if it hits something, or it's going to trigger a overlap if it hits something like a collider where it's an overlap. Teleport is exactly what it sounds like. During our rotation, if we are moving something, collisions will happen. Let's say we had our little round item here, and we had some things hanging off of it, maybe like hair or something like that. As we rotated our item, let's say along the Z, our hair might flop around. It's physically enabled and it's going to rotate. It's going to have physical reaction. If we have teleport unchecked, that's the result. If we have teleport checked, it will basically freeze physics, apply our add local rotation, and then unfreeze physics. So this item will not know physics-wise that it even rotated. It's just going to instantly move to the new position. Physics will not happen. If we have sweep checked, we can get a sweep hit result. That's this right here. I can go ahead and break it, for example. Or you can go ahead and split the struct if you wanted to. But it's just going to give you a normal hit result and let you know if you hit something, overlap something, when, where, and things like that. It's only useful if you have sweep checked. If you don't have sweep checked, you're not going to have hit result because you're not hitting anything. And that's it. That's our add actor local rotation node. Remember, target's an actor, so we're going to target the root of an object. You fill in a X, Y, and a Z for a rotator, or you can split it. You have a sweeping and teleporting if you wish to have physics enabled or have it blocked. And it's for the local coordinate space. So Again, and this is one of those things that's really important to understand. Local coordinate space may be different than world coordinate space. In this case, world Z is up. World Z is actually at a 45 degree angle. That is it. That's going to wrap up the node.